Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a BMW 3 Series Generation F30, F31. This is the 3 Series from year 2013 to year 2019. If you guys have one of those, you have a problem where the radio stays on, stay with us, we'll explain guys which fuses you need to check. Often by pulling the fuse, it may reset the system to where it starts working again. We had that happen actually in the past. Another thing, you may need to reset the iDrive. There is a combination of two buttons. We'll have video coming on the channel how to do that as well we'll explain which fuses first you need to check pull them okay and test the system see if it will reset it where you can buy cheap fuses parts to use at a good price quick shipping that way you do not waste your money and why it's important to test fuses and relays all that will be shared absolutely free for your convenience today so before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car that we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to fix pretty much anything, engines, transmissions, bodywork. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. On this channel, you will be able to find videos about every single fuse on that BMW relay. Let's say you're down the road, uh, you're in the middle of nowhere and you blow a fuel injection fuse. You need to see where it's located. Uh, we'll have the video on the channel. You just search for one or two minutes, look at the video, replace it and you're back on the road. Otherwise guys, it's really confusing with these fuses. That's why we are making these videos. If you need to buy any tools, uh, parts for your BMW, uh, fuses, relays at a really good price and quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. We'll share it for your convenience. So let's start on it now. Now, guys, which fuses you need to check? We're going to demonstrate here on a 2013 BMW 3 Series. Fun fact about that car, we have up to six different fuse boxes. Most people know about two or three. We have a special video that explains the fuse box location on BMW F30. You will need to open the hood. Right in front of the windshield guys and behind the shock tower on the passenger side you have one trim cover, remove it, you'll get to a fuse box. Once you open that fuse box you will see that layout here. Before we guys continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. So now why it's super important guys to test fuses and relays because often you may think you have a good fuse right but uh, it could be guys a bad fuse sometimes it's really hard to tell it's hard to see you have different kinds of fuses and each one of those guys it, let's say you think it's a good fuse but it's actually bad you may end up spending time money on parts and uh, repairs that you don't need so always test fuses it takes only uh, a few seconds we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses and how to test relays as well relays are easy to test uh, that way you can eliminate that possibility for something uh, that uh, that's not necessary guys so check out the links will be in the description of the video below here guys what do you need to check multiple fuses uh, today we'll need to check but in that fuse box only one of them in that row of fuses we come towards the windshield side even if you have a missing fuse, you count the spot, you start counting 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Fuse number 25 will be the one that you need to check here. Then open the trunk. The main trunk fuse box is under that cargo mat here. Just pull it straight out and under that arrow, you will have a fuse box layout like this one. Here you will need to check, guys, now multiple fuses. Fuse number 120. 121, 122, 123. Then you need to check 125, 126, 128. 142 will need to be checked right here. Then you need to check fuse number 147, that 5M fuse as well. Then you need to check 155, that 15M fuse, and 159. Hopefully the video will be helpful, guys. Thank you for watching and see you next time.